Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Cliff's Toy Shop. On today's episode of Arrivals, Delays, and Pre-Orders, I want to add a new addition for episode two and onwards, which would be what's coming. There's a lot in the world of action figures, so let's get started. Starting with Mezco. Mezco is expected to have a very big August with, I want to say about a close to 10 releases that are at least expected. So currently their Batman Supreme Knight has started to ship. It goes for about $85, comes with three interchangeable head sculpts and an array of weapons. I'm on offense if I actually want this one. The suit, as always, is uh, Mezco-fied. However, I do like the older head sculpts of Bruce Wayne, Batman. So I'm on the fence if I'll get this one. I don't think this is something that you need to rush to pre-order. I think this will be around for quite some time. As Mezco figures that are not Mezco exclusives tend to sit. So keeping with this DC, the deluxe version of Harley Quinn has also started shipping. Comes with three head sculpts as well as an array of weapons. This figure I am absolutely getting. Not sure if you need to hurry up and purchase this. However, I will. I won't take my chances with this figure. I think a lot of collectors will certainly jump on this figure. And I think collectors who collect Mezco certainly will. But for this particular figure, I think DC collectors who do not collect Mezco figures will absolutely buy this one. So... If you're thinking about picking up this Harley Quinn, in my opinion, do it sooner than later. She retails for about 90 bucks. So jumping over to Marvel, I am very surprised, but their Gambit is also shipping. Comes with two head sculpts, not so many weapons, uh, but I am excited for this figure. And I certainly have some concerns. I am worried about the upper torso as it doesn't look as if it can move. And I am also worried about the leg parts, but hey, being that it's shipping, it shouldn't take time for me to find out. Figure retails for about $85. And with this one, I would probably want to pick up sooner than later as well. I know with the Marvel Legends version, that left some to be desired. No people were making custom head sculpts for that, which were selling for $35 to $50. So if you were willing to pay that much for a custom head scope, you may want to go ahead and jump on this gambit. So continuing with our Mezco news, let's move right on in and talk about the 2009 film of Hellboy. He is slated to release in August. I do not think that this figure will make it in time as we have less than two weeks remaining for August. So the figure comes with two head scopes and a decent amount of accessories. Does have a jacket which is removable. This figure I am certainly going to pick up. I will probably not jump on it the moment that it releases, but I will pick it up before it sells out. And he retails for about 80 bucks. So continuing with Hellboy, Mezco is slated to release a second figure, also slated to release in August, which is a PX exclusive. It will come with a horn head, better weapons and accessories, and will price for 80 bucks. I think that I'm actually leaning more toward, towards this version of Hellboy. Time will tell. If I can get one for discounted price, maybe I'll end up getting both. I do not think that this figure will be released in time. As to me, it doesn't make a lot of sense to release two figures which are pretty similar, very close to each other. That's exactly how I feel with the punk rock version of Harley Quinn, which is also slated for August. That figure certainly will not make it in time. So two figures that I am ecstatic to have in my collection are the Popeye and Bluto deluxe box set. Sadly, I don't think that these two figures will release in time. They are currently sold out the pre-orders anyway at a lot of places so if you're thinking about getting this one and if you're still able to get your pre-order in make sure you jump on the pre-order the figures come with a lot of accessories popeye three head scopes maybe five different hats a bunch of hands as well as accessories bluto comes with about two head scopes oh i'm really looking forward to this set Without a question, this will be delayed. It will not make it for August, and it retails for $165. So Mezco version of Conan the Barbarian is also slated for this month. So this figure will come with 
at least two head sculpts, as well as a number of accessories, especially weapons. This is a figure I did not pre-order. However, I'm looking to add to my collection. And I'm hoping that this one actually makes its deadline and we will see this this month. He retails for about $90. The main reason that I want this figure is for my MOTU collection, but I feel that he's going to fall small in comparison to some of those other figures. So the PX version of Magneto in his all-white suit is also slated for this month. I have not pre-ordered this figure as of yet. Maybe I did pre-order this figure. Anyway, this one I certainly want. I passed on the first version and he is still readily available. So I feel with this version, you may not have to rush to go out and buy it. This does not come with a lot of accessories. We do get two head sculpts, no weapons, but some very cool effect pieces. If you're interested in this figure, you may want to look at some places are charging different prices. I see 80, I see 99. So you may want to jump on that $80 price point before it raises across the board. And I think that this one may actually release right around town, right around time, if not shortly after. So keeping on with that Marvel train, the two plat two pack of Black Bolt and Lockjaw is also slated to release this month. And without a question, this will be delayed. I feel like these figures have been around for almost two years. We've been seeing them. I am really not interested in the Black Bolt. I do want to have Lockjaw. And being that this is a two pack, I have no other option to than to buy them. Unless someone out here just wants the Black Bolt and then I can take the Lockjaw off your hand. Black Bolt comes with two head sculpts. An effect piece, no additional accessories other than hands. The two-pack will cost about $130 and will have light-up features. Being that this one has been shown, solicited for so long, it may be one that you want to pick up sooner than later. I haven't made up my mind what I'm going to do with this two-set as of yet. Iron Fist is also slated to release, coming with two head sculpts, some great fire accessories, and a cool weapon. This figure here will not make it in time. I am torn if I will actually pick this one up. If I do, I am certainly in no rush as there is no question in my mind that this will receive anywhere from a 20 to 25% decrease in price. So I will pick it up maybe months later after it releases. I am torn if I wait because I am absolutely sure that Mezco will also release a white version of this. This figure releases for, excuse me, this figure retails for 80 bucks. And the last figure to end our Marvel news will be Thanos, coming with three head sculpts, some hands, I think one accessory or so. This figure prices at a hefty amount, $155. This will absolutely not make the August deadline. Initially seeing this figure, I said that I may not be adding it to my collection for three reasons in particular. One, of the price. Two, I'm not particularly pleased with the styling. And third, and perhaps more important, for me, Mezco has not proved that they could actually do large figures. If you disagree, prove me wrong. Moving over to DC, KG Beast is slated to release, comes with three head accessories, a slew of weapons. I really like the weapons that he comes with. However, this figure will not arrive on time. Maybe we'll see him closer to September or October. I did not pre-order this one. I think that this is a figure that you will have time to pick up. He retails for about $85 but certainly I'll be adding this to my collection. And the last of our Mezco slated releases will be the punk version of Harley Quinn, coming with two head scopes and not as many cool accessories as the classic version of Harley Quinn. This I did not pre-order. This is very unlikely that I will be picking it up. The figure retails for about 90 bucks. And this is just one that I don't need in my collection. If I see a steep decline in price perhaps i will pick it up so for this particular version which is a px exclusive i don't see the need to rush out and purchase this one 
So sharing some news coming over from Exclusive Magazine would be some figures that are upcoming and they look absolutely fabulous. And that would be Venom. I believe the company producing that Venom is MIGU Studios. If I am incorrect with that, I'll make sure to make the correction up top. But these figures look absolutely phenomenal. Unsure if they will be 1 7th or 1 9th scale. Also unsure if these are official Marvel licensed products. Depending on the price of this Venom, I will certainly be adding this to my collection. But also they showed a Carnage, which also looks fantastic. Unsure of what scale this will be coming in. Again, that 1 7 for 1 knife. Unsure of pricing at this time. Unsure of when these figures are releasing. But depending on all of that information, I may be adding these great looking figures to my collection. And moving on to our final bit of news for this episode, let's end it with Hot Toys. I'll talk about a few figures that I spoke about last week or early this week, forgot when the other video went up, but figures that have actually released. So let's start with the Remnant Trooper. I actually pre-ordered three of these. This figure was slated to release around November. And just like that, I'm charged for three figures at one time, nearly $700. I was not expecting that. It certainly was a blow considering everything else that I purchased this month. So I'll be posting this video probably on a Thursday. And the day that I post this video, these figures are slated to arrive. So I will be doing a review of these probably later in the week. Also, if I did not mention this last week, the homecoming suit for Spider-Man has also began shipping. For those of you that were wondering when Jawar and EG6 Power Droid would be released, that has started shipping as well. And to end on Hot Toys news, they will be releasing the Mysterio drones for a whopping $105. I'll absolutely be passing on this as PC Toys has already made these drones. I have to give it to Hot Toys. However, they do have too many drones. And I can see where that may increase the price. But for the PC Toys, for the larger drone, they sell for about 50 bucks shipped. Right now, they are the pre-orders are sold out in most places. So if you are able to find them, make sure that you grab them quick. I plan to add about five or six to my collection. As I really want to start focusing on diorama and effect pieces and not just figures. So this will end our episode two. And thank you for checking out Mr. Cliff's Toy Shop.